we were very, very scared. The police were saying, whether you like it or not, you will be moved. Under the Group Areas Act, the attempt is now to separate out your kit colored people, your mixed bloods, your Indian group, your African group. This is apartheid, the yeah. state of being apart. Safar Town was the very first population removal. 60 to 70,000 people were pulled out of their homes by force. Their homes were bulldozed behind them. I was born and bred here in Sophia Town. It was called Little Harlem. We had jazz, we had gangsters. You had dancing clubs where people would dance against each other. There was so much going on in Sophia Town that the birds had to fly backwards to keep the dust from their eyes. <laughs> we had all nationalities. We had Zulus, Chinese, Indians, and we lived in harmony together. It was also unique because people could own property and it was unusual because the whites didn't want people to own the land. The more that legislation for apartheid is pushed through Parliament, the greater the opposition aroused among the Africans. They wanted us to be moved far away from town so that they can take Sophia town and turn it into a white suburb. People thought that they should stay here because they were here first. So if the government wants to move us, they will have to do so by force. We had just finished having supper when we had a big knock at the door. They came with these big government trucks. They would come late, load everything onto the trucks while the soldiers and the police were standing there with guns. And you know, as a child, they seemed huge. And then after it was loaded, they told us, Clement the truck. You just have to follow the rules, what they were saying, so that nobody in your family gets injured or killed. They told us that they are taking us to a new house in Maryland. In those days, there was no electricity. It was pitch black. So you didn't know where you were. They said, this is your home, so you can take your furniture in. Maryland goes from zone one to zone 10. If you are Zulu, you would be put in the Zulu zone. My mother worked in the suburbs. It was too far for her to come home every day. So after two weeks, her employers decided she would sleep at work and she will come home over weekends. So she didn't see us and we missed her. It took between five and six years to have everybody moved from Sophia Town and they named the suburb Triumph. That is to tell us that they have won the war. Three buildings remained that were in Sophia Town. It was hateful at the time, but I would say it also made us better people. It made us understand the dynamics of life. It made us face apartheid face on. I always wanted to come back to Sophia Town. In our culture, where your umbilical cord falls, that's the place you call home. I came back in 1997 and bought this house to say I'm back home. 